I'm Justin Kay, field specialist in horticulture for University of Missouri Extension. As we spend time over the winter looking at seed catalogs for new vegetables and new vegetable varieties to bring to market, it's important to consider some of the broader food trends we see in the marketplace. There's growing consumer interest in a number of different food categories. Superfoods such as salmon, broccoli, or blueberries are gaining popularity as they're rich in compounds considered beneficial to a person's health. Plant-based diets that avoid meat, dairy, eggs, and fish are also gaining popularity. There's increasing interest in paleo diets that consist mainly of unprocessed foods. Fermented foods are those that have gone through an enzymatically controlled anaerobic transformation that enhance long-term storage and maintain nutrient value. Sauerkraut, kimchi, and fermented pickles are examples of fermented foods. Kale had growing popularity in the marketplace a number of years ago, but is beginning to lose its luster with many consumers. Swiss chard and beet greens offer many different color varieties, are very visually appealing, and have a consumer-friendly flavor. Leaf broccoli of Italian varieties bred for foliage production can be rolled and cut into noodles and used in stir fries and sautés. Collard greens is a common vegetable variety that is gaining popularity, and very popular with paleo and plant-based eaters. Cress, with a number of different varieties such as watercress, peppergrass, and garden cress, is a unique and high-value crop, and some are perennials, annuals, or biennials. Greens with wild earthy flavors include sorrel, a perennial vegetable in the buckwheat family with a lemony tart flavor. Amaranth is also gaining popularity and has a great flavor similar to spinach and very beautiful showy colors. The young leaves can be eaten raw or older leaves can be used in stir fries and sautés. Dandelion greens have a unique bitter flavor and cultivated Italian varieties are grown specifically for their leaves. Commonly fermented vegetables include European cabbage with a number of different varieties that are appropriate for sauerkraut production. Chinese cabbage such as napa and bok choy are commonly used in kimchi. Radishes such as daikon and many table radish varieties work well as fermented foods. Carrot varieties and especially the colorful options are popular for fermenting. The paleo diet focuses on unprocessed foods, and things such as cauliflower are often used as a substitute for rice. Rutabaga is used to make healthy oven-baked fries, and celeriac, also known as celery root, can be used like mashed potatoes as well as in soups. Other trends to watch are snack-sized vegetables, such as baby cucumbers, snack peppers, and baby squash. These look great on a plate, and kids also love them, so they're popular at the farmer's market. Plant-based steaks, such as large eggplant varieties for slicing cutlets, as well as large carrot varieties, are often marinated and grilled like a steak by plant-based eaters. It's important to start small and market appropriately. Know your markets, because not everything is going to appeal to the customer base in your area. Make sure you're marketing the product to the target audience. You can use a variety of different signage to highlight whether this is paleo-friendly, fermentation friendly, or great for veggie steaks. These are just a couple ideas. Start small when trialing new vegetables. Production and profitability information may be limited on some of these new or niche vegetables. Assess market preferences and pricing when trialing new vegetables.